Hello everyone, welcome to another video in my channel and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add a custom domain and a managed certificate to the Azure front door. Uh, in the previous video um, I showed you how to configure Azure front door from, uh, uh, from a configuration or setup side of things to load balance uh, uh, geographically distributed application. And in this uh, video, adding a certificate, or we are going to take it to a, to the next level, adding a certificate, uh, and also adding a manage uh, certificate into that. So I'll put a link to my previous video um, at the description of the video. If you haven't watched that, please go ahead and watch that. If uh, in terms of covering the the basic setup of the Azure front door, uh, let's go ahead and add uh, the Azure uh, the custom domain for this Azure front door. So the custom domain needs to be added to the front end hosts in here. Um, so we click the plus button here and then we can add a, a custom domain. So the custom domain that I'm planning to add is uh, a contest so or .org. Uh, org. So this is a domain that I own and uh, in terms of in terms of adding this domain, I need to first add a, a proof record uh, or a CNAME record that's pointing to this address. So there are two ways that I can prove my domain ownership to this. Otherwise, you cannot, if you don't own the domain, you cannot add any uh, records to this. So there are two ways that you can do that. Um, in the documentation, they say um, you can add um, front uh, AFD verify record um, for this for this domain record to verify that you own the ownership so that has to be done if you um, if you are actually trying to cut over a production uh, application so because you cannot add this record if it's already pointing to a production website you cannot add this record or change this record to point to the uh, your front door right so you can you can add this um, or, and do a side by side configuration um, and you can you all what you need to do is you need to add the AFD verify record rather than the actual record uh, to verify the domain. So I'm not going to be adding that AFD verified domain um, in this case um, because I have an application which is not active at the moment. So I'm going to be adding this uh, DNS record and then I'm pointing to this. So for that I need to log into my um, DNS hosting provider and then manage the DNS, add the record, and then I'll have to come back. So um, I'll show you how it can be done uh, in my DNS hosting provider. So here I have logged into my DNS provider, and these are the records that I have currently. And uh, what I want to add is ar.contoso.au.org, and what I need to point is it, I need a CNAME record and I need to point to this address here. So let's go ahead and change this to CNAME and the domain address is this. So let's add that record and it will take a few, I think, I assume it's going to take a few uh, few minutes, but um, effectively to replicate it across the globe, it's going to take more than that. Uh, but we'll give it a few minutes and then um, we'll see how it goes. So that's that's done and then um, so we'll have to wait for a few minutes and then make sure that um, this one um, this picks it up so let's come back and revisit this again um, in a, in, a sh in a few minutes and then see how it goes so let's try again if to see if I'm lucky yes I am lucky at this time so the domain has been verified now, so that allows me to add the, um, the custom domain. Let's go ahead and add the custom domain. Yep. And um, so let's click save. And that should be it. So after that's configured, then I, we should be able to um, access our web application using the public domain name. Let's give it a minute. All right, so it's updated now. So let's close these tabs and open up a new tab. Air.contoseru.org. It's not available yet. Let's give it a few tries. 
So the reason why it wasn't working before is the host contest UI is not present in any of the routing rules, which is a very basic error that I that I couldn't actually have a look at it. So let's go and add. So what happens is currently there's nothing listening on that address. So its address is routed to the show front door, but there's no configuration in the front door to listen to this address. So we have the backend pool, that's cool, but on the routing rules, we need to configure to listen to that address as well on the routing rule, or otherwise we need to add another route rule. But what I'm gonna be doing is, I'm just gonna add um, that domain to that existing routing rule and then click save. So once that's configured, uh, we should be all good and see a traffic route into that, um, or traffic listening to that address. So let's try again. As you can see, it's it's now working. So currently, like now, the DNS is replicated. The front door configuration is replicated. Now it's it's configured to listen on air air .org and it's now giving me the site. So it's still giving me the West US instance because that's the closest one for uh, for for where I'm coming from, which is Australia. Um. And in terms of um, access, I'm currently accessing only HTTPS. So if I go HTTPS, it will give me a certificate error. It still give, gives me the access, but it just goes that certificate error because I don't have any um, publicly issued certificates on this. So you can actually get a with a show front door. You can get a um, you can get a managed certificate, uh, which is actually a public certificate that's issued to this address. So it's it's not it's coming at no extra cost. It's just enabling and then um, adding that managed certificate to that. So Azure Front Door manages the certificate renewals and everything as far as you are paying for the Azure Front Door. Then it's it continues to work as as is. So what you need to do is go uh, custom HTTP custom domain HTTPS and then go enabled and then go to the certificate type as the Azure Front Door managed. So if you go click update, that takes like a, uh, a few minutes for it to apply. So because it goes through a certificate uh, generation process and everything. So um, it takes a bit of time for it to apply, but what it does is they have a backend affili affiliation with the DigiCert to generate a public certificate for this address. And then they, they apply that on the show front door. And then um, when we access that front door certificate is presented, and uh, we get HTTPS access to the front door, and then you can do SSL offloadings uh, after that. Um, so that's that's once until that's getting applied. We'll do we'll give it a few minutes, and then once once it's working, I'll come back. Okay, now the managed certificate configuration has been saved. Uh, let's go and access this site in uh, in HTTPS rather than. HTTP. So as you can see, I can access via HTTPS, and I can see a valid certificate um, in the in the browser now. So let's look at the certificate details, and you can see it's issued on this date, and it's issued to air.contestau.org, and the certificate part is issued by the DigiCert uh, root CA, and there's a subordinate CA, and this uh, certificate as well. So the, it's it's renewing every year. And uh, that's all managed as part of this um, Azure Front Door service. So in this video, you saw how to add a custom domain and how to get a managed certificate issued by the um, by the service as well. So thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next video with a different configuration details on uh, on the Azure Front Door.